Hello, welcome to Wi-Fi. Divisibility test and applications. Divisibility test of three and nine. Divisibility test is made. So let's look at three and nine. Div divisible by three if the sum of all digits of a number is multiple of 3. The number is divisible by 3. Let's look at some example divisibility test. For example, 64, 102, 345, all this. Which one is divisible by 3? By using the divisibility test by three law rule, we can say the sum of all digits. That's why six four six per four equal ten. Ten is not divided by three. So sixty four is not divided by three. Right? It's not. One oh two, one plus zero per two equals three. This will give. 345, 3 plus 7 equal, 3 plus 4 equals 7, 7 plus 5 equal 12. So I make a little bit easy, which is you don't need to add up all the digits, just check if the sum of all digits of number is multiple of 3. That means 3, okay, this is the one 3, 4 plus 5 is 9. So, which is another 3, 3. So that's why 3, 4, 5 add together is a multiple of 3. Right? So that's working. And this one, when you look at the 3, you don't need to worry because 3, as long as the sum of all digits is multiple of 3. So then you add 5. 2 plus 8 equal 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. So even sometimes you look at the number, you say, oh, this is 3. So I don't worry about 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. So, and 15 is a multiple of 3, and 3 also is working. So if you want to add together, that's fine. So that means this is the add together is 18. So 18 is divided by 3. Okay, and then 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. So 15 is divided by 3, so 16 is not working. This number, 9 is working, 6 is working, 9 is triple over 3, 6 is twice over 3, so you just add 1, 7, 1, which is 9. Another triple over three, so this number is working. As long as you check it is multiple of three. Eight plus seven is multiple of three, fifteen. Six plus three is triple over three, but another one, so not working. And this is the six hundred ninety two thousand five hundred seventy. So six is Twice of three, nine is triple of three, one, two plus one is three, and five plus seven is twelve also is more twelve of three. So this is working. Because if you just add up, you say six plus nine is fifteen, fifteen plus two is seventeen, seventeen plus five is twenty two, and the twenty three and the twenty three is thirty. So 30 is divided by 3, right? So it takes time to add up all the digits. But if you can check the sum of digits is multiple of 3, that's easy, it's faster. 6 working, 9 working, 2 plus 1 is working, 5 plus 7 is working, okay? Okay, after this one, let's try to reduce the fraction. 15, 1 plus 5 is 
twice of 3, so divided by 3. We divide by 3, 21, 2 plus 1 is 3, it divided by 3. So 15 divided 3 equals 5, 21 divided 3 equals 7. 15 over 21 after reducing, you got 5 over 7. What about this number? Because 17, 1 plus 7 is 8, is not divided by 3. So this is not working. And also 17 is prime number, so only the factor has is 1 and its step. So this is not reducible. So still get the same answer. 36 over 63. 3 plus 6 is 9. It's triple over 3. 6 plus 3 is triple over 9. And 9 is triple over 3. So both working with 3. 36 divided 3 is 12. And the 63 divided 3 is 21. After this one, still can be reduced. 1 plus 2 equals 3, so divided by 3. 2 plus 1 equals 3, still divided by 3. So we got 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. We got answer is 4 over 7. The last one. 4 plus 5 is 9. And multiple of 3. 6 plus 9 equals 15 is multiple of 3. So that's why divisible by 3, divided by 3. 45 divided 3, 15. 69 divided 3 is 23. And 23 is a prime number, so that 15 over 23. And also, next we look at uh, how to predict the remainder when a number is divided by 3. 64 is not divided by 3 because 6 per 4 is 10 and not multiple of 3. But which number is closed to 64 is divided by 3? So 6 per 4 equals 10 if plus 9. So 63 is divided by 3. 64 Divide 3, that's why remainder, you got to win, right? Next, 75, 38. 7 plus 5 is 12, it works by 3. 3 is, is working, 8 not working. So the closed number is 7, 5, 3, 6. Right? Less than this number, but closed to 75, 38. This one is divided by 3. That's why the remainder equals 2. Because six, 8 minus 6 equals 2, right? Okay, 16 over 3 divided by 3. 6 plus 3 is 9, a triple over 3, 1. So this is the remainder is 1. Just add up all the digits to see the remainder compared with multiple of 3. 9, 6 is working with 3. 5, 1 is working and have 2. So obviously the remainder is 2. Right? Because you can see 60, 96. If this is a 5, 1, 0 is divided by 3. So remainder is 2. Right? Okay, let's continue. Look at the divisibility test for 9. The reason I put the 3 and the 9 together just because they have the same pattern. So, divisible by 9, if the sum of all digits of a number is multiple of 9, so we, we need to count to 9. The number is divided by 9. Let's say 72. 7 plus 2 equals 9, so it divided by 9. One, 153, 1 plus 5, plus 3 equals 9, so it divided by 9. So 6 plus 3 
is 9, but have 1. So this is not working with 9, right? This is 10. So 5, 3, 1 is 9 divided by 9. 1, 2, add together is 3, is not divided by 9. 4 plus 5 is 9, but has another 3. So it's working with 9. It's not working with 9. It's not divided by 9. This number, 7,549. Look at the 9, it's working. 5 plus 4 is working. 7. So it's not working. And this is a 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. So 18. 18 is double of 9. It's working. And look at this one. You have 9, 99 at the end, but this is not the loop. The loop is the sum of all digits. We need to add up if it is a multiple of 9. So we add 1 with 8, is 9, this 9, this 9, but you have 7, so this is not working. Next, let's look at how to reducing fraction using divisibility test of 9. 18 over 27. 1 plus 8 equals 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9. It's so both divided by 9. And we know this one, you got 18 divided by 9 equals 2. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Got the 2 third. 36 and 63, both divided by 9. Give it a 9. 36 divided by 9 equals 4. four. 63 divided by 9 equals 7. So got the 4 over 7. This one, 5 plus 3 equals 8. It's not divided by 9. 5 plus 5 is 10, it's not divided by 9. So this one is not working. It's not working. So right answer is still 53 over 55. But it's not only not divided by 9, and also this one is 53 is prime number. So only 1 and itself is its factor. No other factor anymore. So even 55 can be divided by 5, but the 53 is not. So this number 45 over 99. 4 plus 5 equals 9 can be divided by 9. 99 to 9, double 9. So divided by 9. So 45 divided by 9 equals 5. 99 divided by 9 equals 11. Right? Okay, next, let's using the visibility test of 9 to predict remainder. 345 divided by 9. 4 plus 5 equals 9, but 3. So 345 is not divided by 9. What is the remainder? The remainder just using 4 plus 5 is 9, then you have 3 remainder. Right, so the remainder is 3. Because when you divide the 9, the remainder could be from 1 to 8, right? This one is 6549. 9 is divided by 9. 5 plus 4 is working, 6. So this is remainder is 6. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, all working with 9. The 7 is not working now. So the remainder is 7. The last one, 9 is working, 6, 1, 2. These three digits add together is 9. So we have 5. The remainder is 5. So because when you're looking for remainder, it's harder to using calculate. Even if we can using calculate, it's not one step, right? But using divisibility test, 
is easy to find the remainder. So if you need more practice, go to Ming's house at blogs.rrc.ca slash Ming basic math divisibility test worksheet. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.